Hey guys, what is going on? It is Deboki here once again, and it's time for a Maple Story video. I'm here training a Demon Avenger. It came out a while ago in GMS, and I didn't have a chance to make one. And I do apologize, I got sick, a lot of other things came up, but I finally made one. Demon Avenger, he uses HP as his main stat. And overall, pretty avenging class. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm not really sure how far I will train it, but I did want to go make one for you guys. I know a lot of people are making one already. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy the gameplay. But today, I want to go ahead and talk about my elementary school a little bit, my elementary school times, because um, during elementary school, we had a school motto that kind of stuck with me for a very long time. And I want to go ahead and share it with you guys, uh, because, I mean, it's been with me forever. You know, it's like one of those one-liner things that comes with a mascot, like, you can do it, water boy, or something like that, but nothing like that. Um, but yeah, so my elementary school motto was, be the best you can be. And, you know, it's been applying to me a lot re recently because I've been beating myself up a lot for not succeeding as much as I should, or I think I should. So what I used to think that this line meant was to be the best out of everyone. You know, out of all your peers, out of all your colleagues, you want to be better than them. You want to strive and work to be better than them. Of course, that's not what this line means. I mean, there's no really hidden meaning behind this one sentence of being the best you can be. Because when you say be the best you can be, you're literally defining that best has different meanings for everyone. There is a different best for everyone. Everyone has a different limit, a different goal, and you should not compare yourselves with other people's bests, I should say, because that's when we start to get sad, and we kind of do that a lot of times. You know, Billy kicked the ball farther than me, Susan built the Eiffel Tower out of popsicle sticks, and I could only build a shack out of pencils. Actually, that's pretty sweet, but you know, I mean, we compare ourselves with other people's bests, and we don't strive to work on our best because we try to already jump. Maybe someone is better than us, and we already try to get onto their level, where we have to kind of work in steps to get there. We can't just jump 100 feet already without jumping 50. This kind of ties in with my compete with yourself video because when you're competing with yourself you're trying to improve yourself and you know make sure that you're striving for your own goals not someone else's goals. When I hit college I was kind of sad actually kind of depressed and worried because a lot of people a lot of my colleagues were a lot smarter than me. They could do problems a lot better than I could. They could remember information a lot better than I could and I was worried because I felt like I was really really behind and it's depressing it's sad but then I kind of remembered that we all have our own goals and we have to take our own time. We're all different and we all have different levels of knowledge. But as long as you're doing the best that you can do, then you're already succeeding. You're already winning. You see, I kind of put it this way. If a really smart person, really, really smart person is just doing the minimum requirement to get by and just not really doing the best they can, but they're doing awesome in your books they're losing they're already losing but see if you're doing the best you can do and you're just barely making it you're barely making it but you're doing the best you're pushing yourself to that level that's already that level that you're reaching and you're already setting your standards higher and higher you see so as long as we're striving to be the best that we can be and that we can possibly do then we are doing awesome and you know that's that's what I kind of remind myself at times when I'm feeling sad that I feel like I'm not doing good you know I see Billy Sue over there just doing amazing things with uh, popsicle stick arts whatever <laughs> you know I'm over here twiddling my thumbs um, you know I gotta make sure that I can do the best that I can do so yeah guys what do you guys think about that line um, it kind of stuck with me for a pretty long time you know since my whole schooling career actually just be the best you can be and I think everything will work out it'll be awesome so guys thank you so much for watching this has been Deboki and we'll be seeing you guys later goodbye going all over the place. Alright, so you're going to just kind of get near him, the heart's going to get big, and then boom, you just got the cup. on the left hand corner there, you got a little pet, and he is yours. So you just got to wait for the heart to get big, disappears, and the pet is yours. 